As the car runs through the mountain, the path suddenly turns into a stone pavement. It turns into a stone pavement and the car shakes and rattles. I mean, this is a mountain path. The fact the path becomes a stone pavement means that it is important enough for people in the past to lay the pavement. It's in the middle of a mountain, and the stone pavement is so much older than the, say, Edo period, so that indicates how sacred this path is. Even castles rarely lay stone pavement around them. Having one is a sign that they are entering into such sacred land. But the father doesn't notice it and drives the car in a furious speed. On the storyboard, there's a comment that says the mom is used to the dad's reckless driving. That's why she doesn't change her facial expression. But for Chihiro, it was the first time to see her dad drive like that, so she's so surprised. And suddenly, a tunnel shows up in front of them. And in front of the tunnel, there's something called Sekijin, which is like a, a doll in a shape of a human. Those stone figures are typically excavated from ancient Japanese tombs in the northern part of Kyushu Prefecture, and you can tell that this sacred area has been developed quite a long time ago. So when the family wonders what this is and looks up above this red tunnel, you see unreadable letters. And there is some sort of a roof and a sign over here, but you can't read what it says. Although it actually says Abraya, there is an instruction on the storyboard that says make them unreadable. So so what continues from here is a theme park with a hot spring facility that's built before the economic bubble burst. But there's no real hot spring. I mean, because there's no spring source. Abrea in the movie boils regular water with a charcoal kiln instead of natural hot spring. So it's a fake spa, but they still claim that it's hot spring village. I'll explain this more in details as they get to the town. But the car suddenly stops around 3 minutes past since keep changing fast. It's only been 3 minutes 23 seconds since the Totoro logo and the title. So the parents enter the tunnel, the father seems unalerted and says, Oh, it's just made of mortar. This building is pretty new. He talks like he knows what this place really is, but that's because he works in an architecture industry. That's how he knows so much about the architecture. So he doesn't care, but a strong wind blows from behind them, and they blow together and enter into the tunnel. That gives Chihiro a bad feeling. Feeling, so she refuses strongly to go inside the building. This is at 4 minutes 18 seconds. She says, I'm not going. Only the father and the mother go in. But when Chihiro glances at the stone figure, it's actually kind of hard to tell, but the camera zooms into the stone figure extremely slowly. You may notice it more easily if you look at the edge. The lens is closer to the subject in this picture compared to this one. Uh, the background flows outward. It's so so subtle, but the scene is so carefully depicted with such a slow tracking shot where the camera gets closer to the figure. Chihiro's mind is captivated by it, and she's having a bad feeling. Uh, this is only a uh, two second cut, so you can't really tell what's going on. By the way, there was originally a setting that this stone figure turns into a frog at night and spouts water from its mouth. But later they omitted the setting thinking that they would be going too far. There is a scene where another stone figure spouts water from its mouth. So please think reason why there is a river between the two worlds which prevents Chihiro to cross is because this guy eventually turns into a frog. That's how they enter the building. Chihiro has a bad feeling but still she ends up going inside. This is a scene where the father and the mother go inside a tunnel for the first time. The mortar wall is painted in red. This is a scene at the end. This is almost at the last scene, the family is coming back from the other world. Here, you see the same tunnel, but the stone figure has turned into a mere boulder, and the wall is a stone wall that is covered by trees. They aren't exactly the same tunnels in the beginning and at the end. So before they enter the tunnel, they are already being tricked. They have already entered the other world. So the mysterious world doesn't start when they come out of the tunnel, but before they enter it. Then when exactly do they cross the boundary line? Well, it's 
probably um, right when they pass by the small stone shrines that they enter the world of gods. This is 5 minutes and 53 seconds. When they reach the end of the tunnel, they see a wide plain and an uphill stretching out, which later becomes like an ocean. And there's no one on that plain. This is 6 minutes and 50 seconds. As Chihiro gets worried and says, Mom, Mom, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. The mother just says, hurry up Chihiro, but not even wants to look at Chihiro in the eyes. The father and the mother are actually in a good mood. When the mom loses her balance, the dad catches her saying, are you okay? and smile at each other, but they only tell Chihiro to hurry up. This is strange. There is a reason why both parents and especially the mother is acting cold to Chihiro, but I will talk more about this next week on the second half. And I'm gonna go in depth on this. It's been said that parents are um, childlike, like young couples, so they leave Chihiro out, but there's no way, I mean, Miyazaki does something so meaningless. <laughs> I'll talk more about this next week. Um, so, after they leave the tunnel at 7 minutes and 38 seconds, they see a very strange scene spread out. 